everybody and welcome to another vlog. Today it's me, Pierre Farrugia, and as you can see, it's a beautiful, beautiful day. Eh? Look at this scene, how beautiful it is. Today I'm at Chaira Zabar. I am from Zabar and I used to live at Chaira, so here gives me lots of memory. As you can see, it's going to be a very nice trek with some beautiful sea areas. Eh? So let's enjoy this trek. Let's start. And I take some care not to slip. Eh? We're going to start. Well, the building stops. And here, this part here, is a very, very popular spot here in Shire and Summer. People like to come here and swim. There will be the bar open there. It's a very nice area. And uh, this is beautiful, as you can see here. Another thing that we will see a lot today this is one of the pillboxes here, everywhere we look, every 400 meters or so, we're going to find a pillbox. And uh, today's trek will take us to Marsa Scala. It's a beautiful uh, trek, suitable for everybody, so let's start. As I told you before, here is full of pillboxes. You can see these pillboxes, many of them are turned into like a summer residence. Uh, you can see it has its original door, I think, as well. And if we look on that side, we can see another pillbox here. So anybody who has the hobby of pillboxes here will find many. Also, I have a small curiosity. This small room near the big, big, big uh, pillbox, what it was used for? Please comment below. Look at the coast down here, how nice it is. And we can start making our way to Marsa Scala. Now, today is the first week of April. And as you can see, I'm in short sleeves. It's about 16 degrees or even more. And to tell you the truth, I'm feeling hot. Imagine in summer what we'll have. Eh? Well, another common thing in Malta coastline, you can see some. Uh, salt pans some of them really eroded because in winter here the sea is very very rough eh? and now we are near the second build box in just how much 400 meters and uh, i will show you looking up there i'm already can see another tree mela here one can see another build box all of these are not abandoned this one has like a small observation tower on top. A lot of soil pens here. And if we look on that side or up there, we can start seeing more pillboxes. But we'll see more when we get there. Here in summer, we'll be full of people eh, swimming. Because till now, we are still some building and we are by... This is a gravel road, a monotea, armac road. Here I have Richard behind me. There is the water recycling plant, which is a good thing, I think. Then, on the opposite side, which is a much better thing, they have just created this park here, Tallinn in Wadar Park. And when here have a list of the activities one can do and one cannot do, which I don't agree, is camping. Why camping? These places are the best place to do some, some camping. If the camping is done right, and uh, like uh, they do in other countries that you practice the leave no trace. The leave no trace means that you, don't, you come in a place and leave it exactly as it is. You don't leave trash. If you go to poo, you have to put it underground or you put it in a bag and take it with you. So there are a lot of things. But uh, I think who wants to go camping is because loves the nature. So I think if it's done right, people will get a lot from it. From here, I don't know if you can see it properly, but no cars are permitted. And uh, there are a lot of signs are danger because the cliffs here are giving way. In fact, they uh, put this rope and barrier so people, they don't go in the edge of this cliff because this cliff here is eroding by the sea. Eh? Well, this is the part I came on, and here it says it's a little bit dangerous. We can see two 
with kayaks here. Uh, beautiful kayaks. Eh? That one, wa a white bird blue, I love it. Look how nice it is here. And we have to continue on this side. Eh? This is a very popular trek here that people like to walk from Shaira to Marsaskal or back. As uh, I told you before, this trek is suitable for anybody. There are some places a little bit rough, but not rough. Anybody can do it, any age. If you do it slowly, I don't think it should be a problem. Look how beautiful this area is. This is one of my favorite places here. Look. Those small, they are not high cliffs, but everywhere is nice. And if we go like this, here we find yet another pillbox. Everywhere you go, it's a very nice walk. And one can choose either walk on this rough terrain here or up there. There's a path with soil which is much easier on the feet. So, but here is much beautiful to walk. But both of them are very nice. Let me show you this pillbox. There's another pillbox here and another beautiful location. Look how nice it is. I encourage you to come and visit this place because the, the area is very nice, very quiet when you pass the houses because now cars pass from here. Everywhere you look, the coastline is beautiful and yet we go up there, there's another structure there. Most probably World War II as well. Here is the easy path, very flat and nice to walk on. At this time of the year, you have to be more cautious about the sun. Why? Because the air is cool and it's a little bit windy, but the strength of the sunlight is there and you don't know that you're getting sunburn and then you go home after a day trekking like this and you are all red and everybody everywhere is burning so take care eh? look how beautiful this area is eh? makes you want to go for a swim with this sun but don't be fooled eh? the temperature of the sea is 14 and for a small piece it's super cold so let's continue our way. You can see the buildings up there, the gumbos, little boxes. And here, there's another one. We have those with kayak here, passing by. Here we can see two guys with their kayaks. One of them is Simon. They have beautiful kayaks. I like that blue with white. How beautiful it is. They, they enjoy the kayak, not like me, eh? all, the, all the way around. And they are getting me, I have to put mine down as well. Beautiful, eh? I see them, eh? all graceful. And now we continue our way on this side. Eh? When I walk this part, something that fascinates me is this area. And I will show you why. Here, you will see. Uh, there's a military tower, I don't know the age of this tower. Then, if we go up here, just 50 meters away, we can find one of the Radin towers. And if we go a little bit up, there's about 50 meters, another 50 meters, there's a pillbox there. Eh? So in a space of 70 meters, you will have three towers and three different ages. This looks, uh, this is, was in 1659, I think. It was one of the Deradin Towers. It's called uh, Tri Ilvisa Tower. That one, obviously, is a World War II pillbox. And this one, I don't have any idea what this, ta what this type of pillbox is. Eh? Let's uh, uh, see them one by one. Eh? Obviously, it's owned privately as well, or this one. But it's amazing, eh? three towers in one area. Let's go different. This is the first tower, I don't know the age, but I think most probably it's World War II. Anybody knows, please let me know because I'm curious about this type of history. Look, it's beautiful if you see it from the front. 
It's shape, huh? It's amazing, yeah? Then, there's the Deradine Tower. It's just 60 meters apart. And if we go there, Ara, it's the same length. There's a World War II pillbox, yeah? But the shape of this one is really amazing. Let me show you better, huh? Because I'm trying not to fall, yeah? You see? Let's go and check the other tower. And this is Talvisa Tower. This is taken in Stolar. Look how I rode it, even where it was repaired. It looks that it's giving way. Yeah, this is very rough in the winter. Then, if you look at it, as I showed you before, that's the tower that I was visiting now. And behind me, there is another pillbox, eh? a very big one, this one, made of concrete. This is third world for sure. That one I don't know. And if you look at the, the small building behind it, it's the same type of building like this one. Eh? And if you look on that side, there, there, that small building there is another pillbox. Eh? They are in the line of sight. Eh? Let's give you another look of this beautiful tower. I hope that like this you can see all the towers. The main tower here is uh, Luisa Tower, it's called. It's, uh, for, it was built in 1659 and formed part uh, of the Derardine Towers. Look at the view from here. Eh? This is the World War II pillbox here, made of concrete. Then we have one of the Derardine Towers. And here we can find another uh, tower. I'm not sure uh, dating it, but it's amazing. We have three in a very short distance. Eh? So now let's go and have a look at that pillbox up there. Eh? Some rocks crumbling as usual. And now have a look there, eh? that pillbox there. Let's have a look at this billbox. Look how close they are. This is the view of this billbox. There's the door there, it's just closed there. You know what I found strange about this billbox? That having this tower in front of it, it creates um, a blind spot. Although, as you can see, there is one there and one on the other side which can uh, eliminate these blind spots. But now let's continue our way to Marta's Skull. Eh? Here one can get a beautiful spot to see here. One can see the three towers and this beautiful uh, enclosed area here with this turtle sea. Beautiful, eh? But now as you can see here. The track has turned in like a dirt road, very flat. Uh, remember that this spot is very, very good for everybody. Yeah? Families, old people, anybody can do this track. It's just not perfect asphalt, but it's, but it's more enjoyable here. Yeah? And the peace and beautiful of this place, look how beautiful it is. Yeah? And here yet we find Another pillbox, yeah? How many there are? This is uh, for sure a World War II pillbox. Yeah? And I think this time we can have a peek inside because there is open. So let's have a look around here. Original doors. Yeah? Box from inside. Yeah. I think somebody made this as a summer residence. Yeah. That's a very big one. I think it has two stories in it. This one. And this is in very good shape. Huh? Here we are starting some buildings. It's uh, the outskirts of Marta Scala. 
end up there. I'm not sure if you can see it, there's another pillbox. Eh? We are very close or nearly in Marsa's Cala now. Still beautiful uh, uh, coastline. Now we nearly made it to Marsa's Cala. Now that we have reached Marsa's Cala, we reached the end of this vlog. Hope you enjoyed this beautiful scenery here. I love it so much. Here I come to walk very often. As you can see, the sea and the beautiful colors are amazing here and very relaxing. I will stop here for a short break. May I remind you to subscribe to my channel and hit that small bell icon so you get notifications of my videos. Until next time, Bye-bye.